I think this is what 2012 is about. This is what the shift in consciousness is about. This is what everything's coming to that point and saying, hey, guys, this is, we're not alone. You got, hey, guys, you got company. Really, this is what right. they're saying. So um, that's part of the new realities that I'm, I'm really excited about. So that's a big part of what I'm doing. And, and you're doing that too, right? What's your interest in all that UFO stuff? Well, Tom is the uh, president of the MUFON Ontario. Oh, so, I mean, he's been in he's been in the UFO field for you know, thirty years. So he's done over a hundred abduction cases. He's done you know, all, all looked in all the cases, and you know, a lot of them in Canada, some of the states. Uh, my focus is, although I'm with, I was with Tom as a field investigator um, with him uh, back in the early '90s with uh, his group in MUFON Toronto, uh, as well as the Cambridge UFO group and other, you know, UFO groups that are here locally in Ontario. Uh, I'm more into, I was more into the uh, parapsychology and, and, and those areas and uh, doing um, studies on NDEs and OBEs and, and doing but, remote viewing tests with people and all that stuff. But you know what I found, what both those things have in common, the alien abduction and the UFO encounter and the OBs and the near-death experiences, they both have a state of consciousness that is altered within those experiences. That's why I call my show New Realities because when... And experiencers. Yeah, yes. They, but you're in a shifted state. They're, you're in a paranormal state of awareness in both in those situations. Um, you're, you know what I mean? At least that's my experience. Cause I, yeah, have, that, I would, that, that, I would that's very much so. on that one. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's, that's exactly what it is, is that, uh, all the, to me, at least anyway, uh, based on my experience is that all these areas have a very similar, if not the same, um, kind of, uh, paradigm, you know, they, 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 they they have the same effect on the individual. So whether you you know you saw a ghost or you saw a Virgin Mary, whether you saw uh, you know a gray alien, um, it, the 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 field is the same. That the person creates a new consciousness uh, and a new understanding of um, you know the surroundings. Right. I think that's a really important point. I think reality shifts. We, you can no longer be who you were before you had those experiences. And while you're in that experiences, it's as if you're high on drugs or drunk or something like that. You're not in your normal state of mind. And I think this is going to happen as uh, these, um, as these ETs appear, they're going to shift our consciousness. So we, will be a different human. The reality that we actually will be functioning in will will morph into something we have yet to know, uh, if, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So uh, that's what I'm really fascinated with. That's what really is at the bottom of um, my investigations. How can we think differently about the world? What... What changes our thoughts and perceptions? And this goes back to my Uncle George. His whole thing was studying perception. And that's really what I'm trying to understand because reality is created by the perceptions we, we, we have. put out there. <laughs> yeah. We, we've been programmed for. There's no, there's no doubt because, uh, you know, my, my background, uh, you know, I, I, I'm a hypnotherapist, so. Um, you know, understanding how, how the brain uh, works and, and understands and, and perceives, um, you know, has been a study of mine for, <laughs> for all these years. And uh, when I was involved with uh, the uh, abduction phenomenon, um, you know, that really brought in a new... Uh, you know, sort of opening a, a new, uh, uh, how can I put it, something different, you know? Well, uh, and, uh, well, no, I'm glad you brought that up. And the reason I think abductions are so traumatic is because we 
are in a reality that's so different than what we used to. I mean, yes, meeting these great beings can be quite uh, unnerving, but the the state of consciousness, or maybe one produces the other, meeting these aliens might put us into an altered state, but but that's the trauma. That's why most people don't remember or they're, they lose awareness of some parts of it because it's like dreams, you know. We're not used to functioning in those altered states, and in meeting an alien will put you in an altered state, believe me, because it's not a normal reality, really. And, yeah. and, and of course, is, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the, the fear factor, too. You know, automatically, uh, when, when something is strange or unusual, you know, we were, we were ready to run. So Already uh, a run because reality has shifted. This is where I'm really, uh, uh, this is my, what I feel um is so traumatic we're ready to run not because there's just these scary looking beings but because no one ever told us that this was possible that's yeah. what is so trauma it's traumatic to be abducted by an alien being and you know to be sort of controlled by them and, and um but we're not controlled they're controlling our minds and with enough power over our own minds, we can have control. So and Tom, Tom has experience, experience with that because yeah. Tom uh, was actually talking to a, a, an abductee, and they got out of the experience. And then I Tom used that as a test to tell another abductee how to get out of the experience. Well, you know, work. I got. I got out of an experience, too. I think I was abducted. I was walking on board the ship. I didn't see these beings, but I kept touching my third eye. I kept putting my finger up to my third eye, and I sort of got the message like, hey, we just can't work with you anymore. And then I was back in my bed. But because I had my own willful control over myself, they that's how I got out of it. What happened with your guy, Tom? Well... I mean, I, I, we had numerous uh, situations. So one, one thing I found about, um, you know, most individuals that, that have these type of uh, circumstances is that the initial uh, reaction is fear because they don't understand uh, what really is going on. Um, once they are able to comprehend that, you know, what it might be, and they have some sort of understanding and, and, and um, maybe have a way of maybe communicating like if you if you tell them look rather than you know run away or fight or do whatever try to communicate you know with uh, whatever the entity may be um and by doing so i found that a lot of these individuals had a different experience it was no longer a fearful type situation it was more you know like like a friendship type situation and and where the initial thing was a, a very aggressive uh, fearful thing then it became such a friendly, and, and even in situations where, you know, there was pregnancies involved and, you know, children and so on, um, they turn out to be positive experiences with these individuals. Well, I think the ETs are here. It's like, you know, it's like a dental appointment. You know, they, they do want our genetics, but we also have an agreement to share that because I think they're giving us something. So it's only our self-imposed fear that makes it so... Awful, and it's great that you're helping people deal with it because I really do think that they're here for their evolution and our evolution. At least that's my theory about well, it. Well, def definitely, I think our, our evolution because uh, it it definitely changes uh, the perception of that individual, um, of their surroundings, and and you know belief systems that they may have had before. Well, I think that was one of my early childhood experiences that led me towards even calling this show New Realities because it, you're absolutely right. But I also think it's here for their evolution because they're taking our genetics. Part of the reason I feel they're here is to weave our human genetics with their ET genetics to create another race of beings. And they, they're doing this because they, they, forgot, they forgot how to feel. And humans are definitely abundant in feeling and and we're recognized throughout the universe because we have a great capacity 
to create and feel and express. And that's what they're here for because they know that's ultimately the, the experience that we've incarnated for, the feeling experience. Now you still have the, you, you still have the fear, um, in, in multiple, multiple cases. I, I had a case myself that I worked with uh, a little bit with Tom, mostly with my research partner, partner Jacob. And uh, we had a couple, uh, and it was uh, a husband and a wife, and there were three children. And it went ran the gambit. It ran, you know, missing time. Uh, it was, uh, you know, she lost the baby. Uh, there was, uh, you know, there was all kinds of physical evidence. She had a, a hole above her well, in her lower abdomen that looked like if you took a lit cigarette and burned it into the body and went down about two inches. And then it started healing, not from the top, but from the bottom up. Um, she had that, you know, uh, physical evidence, uh, all kinds of missing time where you could, you, we could track it down to when they left the party at the parents, talk to the parents, they, they told us the time they left. You could track how long it took to get from point A, which would be the parents, to point B, which would be their house, and the babysitter was there looking after the children. So we had a time when the babysitter was taken home. Mm. And the amount of time it took to get from their parents to their home, to, to take the babysitter home, there was two extra hours. Where that two extra hours went, we don't know. But now it's more than just a story. Now we have the parents backing up when they left, the babysitter backing up when they got there. You have the children having nightly, uh, or not nightly, but every now and then they don't wake up with nosebleeds. Uh, we had, I had them knocking on my door at 3 a.m. because they were afraid the aliens were coming to take them away. You know, it was, you have stories like this that start out mired in fear and it's just and i found this also in 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 nde's yeah well there is fear and the fear like i i'm trying to i think uh investigate myself is because reality is not what we thought it was you know reality is more solid than the ground beneath your feet and when that starts to shake like in earthquakes people are very traumatized but you imagine Everything we think is true about the world is not that you can move through walls, that, you know, there are these beings that exist in other dimensions. Our belief systems are so solid. That's partly what's traumatic. And, of course, all these uh, procedures with, you know, in, in, you know, putting instruments up, that's very traumatic, too. And to feel helpless is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that's not, you know, should be fearful, but there, if we can get a hold on what I call new realities, we'll be able to meet these beings on equal ground. We'll be able to shift how we think the world is because the world is not what we've been told. Like, like all, both your research is telling you, this is what my research, this is what uh, Bill Ryan's research is saying that, hey, you know, what we've been told is true about the world. There's a lot more that we haven't been told. And and this is where we're all connecting in this sort of um, new genre of investigation, right? I mean, yeah, for sure. So totally. That, so that's why I'm doing my show, so I can find a new reality, so I can think differently about the nature of who we are and and help other people because I think that is the only way where things are going to change. We need to think in different ways, you know, and we Love need to free. break out the box, the box we've been conditioned. We've been conditioned, and that's why I think the Project Camelot is so important is that they are undoing a conditioning and people are saying, what? What is he saying, you know? But it's... It's in a way that's simple. Just be open to all the things you're hearing on this program, on my program. It's like just consider what might be possible, and then we will have a shift in the consciousness of the world. So, exactly that. that. That's why I'm so excited about doing these kind of programs and finding people. I mean, meeting someone like Nassim Harmim. You know who Nassim is? 
Oh yeah. 